20 on February 22nd. It is a Thursday. I feel very on top of things. Got up early, got myself ready for the day. The kids got up a little bit earlier than normal. Uh, it was like 6.50 when they came down. Usually the little hippo alarm clock goes off at seven. But now that Quinn is sleeping in her big girl bed, she like chase will go into her room whenever he gets up in the morning and they kind of like play and if they see me downstairs then they'll just come down so no big deal anyway i got my hair done last weekend and i am so happy to finally like be blonde again there is like i don't know if you can tell here but there's like i don't know some issue going on here and like i think the highlights bled uh, in the foils or whatever. So I actually need to go back on Friday afternoon and get it touched up. It's not a big deal, but I am very OCD and it has been driving me insane. So I was like, I could just leave it and like part my hair differently or whatever, but I don't know. It's been bothering me. So <laughs> I'm going to get it fixed. Anyway, I just logged on to work and I have, I know I have a nine o'clock meeting this morning. So that's why I want to make sure that I was up early and get the kids out the door and like back here by 8.30 so that I have time to just like collect myself and get ready for the day's fun tasks. Yeah, so I have a 9 a.m. meeting. I have another one at 10.30, another one at 12.00 another one at 1 30 and another one at 2 30 so thursdays have been very busy for me lots and lots of meetings um luckily yesterday i only had one so i was able to get a big chunk of work done days like this are very hard for me to kind of like sit down and bang projects out it's more just like responding to emails and getting small tasks like done and out the door because meetings um are taking over life <laughs> So that is my day. The kids are eating breakfast right now. So I am just going to clean up my inbox and then get them dressed and head out to daycare.
kids off at daycare this morning. I totally forgot that they have a petting zoo that's coming to their school today. So they were both really excited about that, which great. I just hope it doesn't rain. It's like pretty cloudy out, but, um, Got back home, did like a half an hour of work. I had my meeting at nine. It actually ended a little bit early, so I just tidied up the kitchen, unloaded the dishwasher. It's 9.33 right now. I am going to go back to work um, for about an hour, and then I have a meeting at 10.30, and then I think I have like a short break in between and another meeting. So I will check back in probably around lunchtime. <laughs> Hi guys, it is, what time is it? 11.24, I am in the middle of a break between meetings, so I am gonna quickly just make myself some lunch. I think I'm gonna have, I think I'm actually gonna have, I have these hard boiled eggs, so I might have those, or I also have like Starbucks egg bites that we got from Costco. Might have those, and then a an English muffin, kinda sounds good. Um, I also have a couple protein bars, so I might have one of those. I don't know, I'm all over the place. Um, but I also have a big load of my kids' laundry that I need to fold. I have been slacking hardcore. I did their laundry on Sunday, it is now Thursday, and I still have not folded their clothes and put them away. And it's been driving me nuts. So I'm gonna do those two things, and then I have a meeting at noon so i have basically like a half an hour to get this stuff done and then this afternoon my meetings are like chunked out really weird so my noon meeting is till one then i have like a half an hour break and then i have another meeting that's a half an hour then i have another half an hour break then i have a half an hour meeting so i think i'm done with meetings at three leaving me with very little time to do much else but this is today and it's a busy day so I'm gonna eat, fold the clothes, and get back to work. Someone's gone, I'm latching on. Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Underneath rays of gold, your body also oh close. No, I can't forget. No, when I saw you on the dance floor, oh, I was it you who saw me first? I guess it's history now, and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize the danger, cause you're the end of the rainbow, and the music was so loud. You can catch a name of this crowd. Girl, you should wear a name tag Cause all I wanna do is to know your name Girl, you should wear a name tag That's the only way that I can't show you Girl, you should wear a name tag I just finished with one of my meetings. I have another one in half an hour, but I just got the cutest pictures of Quinn from the petting zoo. I have to show you, they're adorable. Like, sh look at her riding this, what is this? A little mini horse. And look at the ducks. Oh my gosh. 
And a little bunny. Oh, I can't. How stinking cute is she? Ah, I hope they send ones of Chase too. I don't, let me see if I can go check. Usually like Chase's class is a lot bigger than, oh, they did. Oh my gosh, my handsome little boy. So freaking cute. Just that one. <laughs> yeah, Chase's class is a lot bigger. So they're like, it's harder for them, I guess, to share all the updates. But so Pete's just texting me. He, he was out last night. His boss was in town from Denmark. So he had to go to a dinner. And then he was just saying that another, I guess, like, I don't know if it's a colleague or a customer was asking him to go out tonight after work and then he has a work event tomorrow night Friday so he was like seeing if going out tonight was okay with me and it's fine with me I don't really mind but um Chase gets like kind of upset when Pete doesn't come home after work and like he was, you know, a little bit sad last night because Pete, you know, wasn't there to put him to bed and, you know, do the whole nighttime routine, have dinner with us and stuff like that. So, man, oh, I think he, Pete's gonna try to do either the thing tonight or the thing tomorrow, but not both. So that would be great. It's been a very big change, like transition now that pete is in this new job and this new role he i mean way back when we first moved here he was working from home and he had a very very flexible schedule he i mean and he had been with his company for a really long time and now it's like pete is away doing stuff after work and traveling so much more so you know i mean obviously he's doing it for our family although it's tough on me because you know i'm trying to manage everything when he's not here like i really feel like the kids are starting to get more upset because they're more aware of when he's here and when he's not and just a lot of change but it's it's fine it's we're adjusting and i'm still having such a hard time with this drive commute to their daycare it's weird because like Yes, it's two hours out of my day, but if you multiply that by five, that's 10 hours a week that I am now losing or I'm having to try to figure out how I can get back that time. Now that it's gone, it, it makes a big difference. I find that I'm just falling behind a lot more in just household maintenance stuff. And I don't know why that is because I'm kind of like working the exact same hours as I was, but for whatever reason, I'm not able to fit things in the way that I used to. So I don't know. I'm still just like a big adjustment in progress, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, that's my story. And um, I have two more meetings for the day. I think I am actually before my call, my, my call that's, in 20 minutes now um, is actually our company coffee chat. We have these coffee chats uh, for our whole company just to like, you know, connect with everyone and hear new things that are going on in the company, updates, things like that. So I think I'm actually just gonna make myself a hot coffee right now for the coffee chat and yeah, get some work done before um, my upcoming meeting. It is a little after three o'clock now. I am done with my meetings for the day and tomorrow I have such an easy day. I only have one meeting at 9 a.m. and that's it. So we're like almost at the weekend. Anyway, I just wanted to take a quick little break from the screen. I just got a bunch of different activewear and like athleisure products from the brand Halara. 
and I am so excited to try them on for you guys. Polara is giving all of you guys a 20% discount with the code AMANDA92. So I will leave all of that information in the description box below along with the links to everything that I'm gonna try on and show you today. All right guys, first up are these leggings and I cannot, like immediately when I put them on, they were just like butter, like smooth and silky. I have this crossover waistband, which is just super flattering. They also have these pockets on the side. I have mixed feelings on pockets. Like sometimes they can be so big that they actually like, I don't know, make your thigh look larger than it actually is but these ones are just like super smooth down the side they're not like drawing attention to the fact that there's a pocket on the side if that makes sense at all the color is just stunning it's giving off this kind of blue in the camera but it's actually more like a an emerald green but like kind of muted i don't know how to explain it i am obsessed like absolutely 100 percent. i want these in every single color next up is another pair of leggings these ones are in more of a bluish gray color they definitely feel more compressiony and not as buttery soft but definitely i would gravitate more to these if i am definitely doing workouts like a hit workout or cycling or something like that on the peloton um they they feel just a little bit more thicker and they're that like brushed I think that's what it's called, like the brushed material. They don't have a seam going up the middle, which I absolutely love. They again have the pockets on the side. Here's what they look like from the back. Definitely like squat proof. I absolutely love them. Next up, I have these really adorable joggers. They are this like dark blue kind of like indigo color. They have a drawstring at the top. I am wearing a size small, I believe in almost everything, except I got an extra small and sized down in these just because sometimes joggers can be a little bit too like big on me. I don't know if it makes sense. I think these might actually come in a petite. So for all of you shorter girls, these are perfect for you. Sometimes if you're too short, joggers are not gonna look right. But anyway, they are super, super cute. They're definitely a fitted jogger, and um, but they do have a lot of kind of stretch up at the top. They're definitely tight and have kind of like a legging feel to them. I feel like it's giving me sort of like a slimming effect, which I really like. They have a nice cuff at the bottom that's nice and tight around your ankle. They also have pockets. There is a drawstring up here in the front so you can cinch it in if you want it more tight. All right, let's move on. I didn't know what these were gonna turn out like when I ordered them, but they are so adorable. First of all, the color is amazing. I think it's called Coco Brown, and it is a corduroy, but it's so stretchy. So they button up here and they have like a zipper, so it's they're like kind of like a trouser. And as you can see kind of back here, they're super stretchy, so that's gonna make them really comfortable. If you go into an office, these would be the perfect comfortable work pant or trouser. I, I'm obsessed. They, again, they have a bunch of different colors, but so cute. You guys, it just keeps getting better. So next, I have these black wide leg trousers. I wanted to give you kind of like a better idea of what the material is. I can't... It, I don't know if this is called like a waffle material or what, but it's really smooth, it's really comfortable and flowy. It is very, very stretchy. I know it's black, so it's kind of hard to tell, but the waist is really stretchy and elastic. They have these like pleats kind of in the front. Here's kind of a view of what they look like from the back. Sorry, I probably should put this up on a tripod, but all right guys these white ones are super super cute i would say they are a little i got a size small in these but they're a little bit tighter around my waist so just keep that in mind for these ones specifically the rest of them were um true to size i would say absolutely but how adorable this is just giving me like spring and i love it they are a really really stretchy almost like a like a yoga pant type of a material there they are wider around the waist but very elasticy as well 
I love the buttons up the front. I love the pockets. They have pockets on the back too. Obviously I'm wearing black, so the white, forewarning um, is a little bit see-through but no problem just wear a nude undergarment and you should be good the material is so stretchy so cute I love 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 them guys I saved the best for last and th this jumpsuit was actually like the most questionable item that I ordered because I was not sure whether it was gonna look cute or not, but I am freaking sold. This is the most adorable jumpsuit like ever. It has these adjustable straps, so if you're taller, it's great. If, it, if you're shorter like me, I'm on the last one. Cute, adorable pocket in the front, pockets on either side, and just like flowy, wide leg, really flattering. I actually wore these to a Galentine's Day little date with my girlfriends at this wine bar and everybody was like obsessed. They're like, what are you wearing? Where did you get it? I want one. Give me all the details. If you are pregnant, this would be perfect for you because there's a lot of room kind of on in the waist area. Just looks freaking adorable. Obsessed. This is what it kind of looks like from the back. Thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely loved every single item that I got from the leggings and joggers that I live in on a daily basis to these amazing trousers and the jumpsuit that are super comfortable and take like the material of athletic athleisure wear and put it into trousers and clothes that you can actually like wear out. I know that a lot of y'all are working moms and love comfort but also like want to look good so I feel like all of these items just like really sum that up. So Halara is giving y'all a 20% discount using my code. It's Amanda92. I will put all of the details in the description box below. Go check them out. I love it all. Hey guys, so it is 4.20 right now. I have wrapped up everything at work and I shut down my laptop for the day. It is so hot here in Texas. I am loving it. Not too hot. It says 77 right now and I am here for it. I like 70s are the best before it gets like super sweltering in the summer. Anyway, I'm heading out to pick up the kids from daycare. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.